Hello everyone, this is Sunset Duck 2, and welcome to an installation tutorial for Forge 115. Now I don't know the case for 115.1 when it comes to some mods that typically say um, under the Files tab. I have come across some that say that, so I don't know about some of those, uh, but I will be using the latest version of Forge 115, as you can see here. I kind of tried it out a bit before, didn't want to work, but it seems to have um, and worked out across newer versions, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so I've got a few mods included. I've got it set up on the launcher, but if you're new to doing this, or just want to try it out yourself just to see how it transitions to 115, what you want to do is get the installer. Uh, this would be a Java or Jar installer. So you click that, and it'll take you to an add site of sorts. You just wait for the skip add button to appear. Now I do already have this, um, so just to be sure. So you click that and it'll come up with a download, like so. And because I've already got this, I don't need to, but we'll just scale that down here. Oops, there we go. And obviously if we go to downloads, you can see version 29.0.4 and from there, what you want to do is obviously just click it and it will download all the libraries. So mine's already done that, but I'll just show you so you can get an idea of what you expected um, to witness when installing it. So you can see install client. If you want to do it for server, you can. But obviously, for the most part, we're doing this on a client. So just click OK, it'll do everything. It'll say how many libraries and you're good to go. From there, obviously, I've got a few mods installed just to demonstrate and see how it goes. Um, and yeah, most of them should likely support the latest version, not so much anything a bit lower than that, so definitely stick with the latest until a certain point where they say it's recommended. Um, but other than that, obviously, you can check your installations, and from there you can see, obviously, oh, okay, it's given us the one that I requested. Um, as you can tell, I tried to do the prior one, and from there you just select it, and if you want to create a new one for 115, besides say if you already have a 113.2 or a 114.4 one, you can just create a new one, switch it, name it whatever you want, click create, and you're good to go. So obviously I've got this set up already, so that's fine, you can click play, and since I already have it set up, it's already on the title screen right now, or splash screen. So, from there obviously, I've got four mods loaded, I've got the two Forge specific ones, and I've got a few others included as well. Now the formatting of this is not great yet, they'll probably work this out eventually, uh, but obviously we've got the Minecraft Coda Pack, we've got Goldenberry, we've got Campfire Torches, and we've got Forge itself. So, besides the fact that this should be aligned, um, it's still displaying a lot of things fairly well. So we just create a new world just to see how it goes then we can do that real quick. Okay, so we'll go for 115 exclamation mark. Uh, that should be fine. We're going to survival because we don't really need to for nah. Actually I probably will need to for creative, but I'll so we'll wait for this to go. Um, and we'll also see one thing as well that I'm curious about, they probably haven't done yet for 1.15, that a mod has already solved the problem of 1.13.2 and 1.14.4, which is the in-game mod options button compared to only getting it on the splash screen. Um, I'm pretty sure they probably haven't done that yet, which is a bit annoying, but they'll get around to it, hopefully. Um, so. Float up the world, and we're good to go. So if we go into creative, you can obviously see the modded items in there. So we've got golden berries. If we do the campfire as well. So we'll want sticks for that. And we'll go to survival. And I'll put some sticks down. And I've got the berries. Which, yep, yeah, so we've made some campfire torches, and the berries obviously we can eat, and so on. And there's no mod options button, so yeah, it's only on the splash screen, which is unfortunate, but who knows, we might see it happen within 115 Forge, we may not, 
we may have to rely on the mod that does it. Otherwise though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.